Welcome back. In this video, I'll provide you honest feedback on the Spirit 1.0 EVO outboard motor by ePropulsion, as well as provide you some pros and cons based on experience over the last year using this motor. Stick around, you won't wanna miss this. I use the Spirit 1.0 on my Pelican Bass Raider, which is a 10 foot plastic pontoon style boat. I typically run this setup on local lakes that are typically around 100 acres or less. I used to run this setup on larger bodies of water, but that's what my John boat is for. I don't know about you, but when it comes to setting up my boat to fish, I have absolutely no patience. Once I get to the lake, I wanna get out in the water as quickly as I can. That's one of the things I've enjoyed the most about using the Spirit 1.0 is it only takes a minute or so to install both the motor and battery. All of this is possible because it's a very compact design, the motor is very portable, lightweight, and battery is integrated right into the top of the motor. And if you like, you can even get a carrying bag for both the motor and battery. For me, the more streamlined the process, the better. I typically leave the tiller attached and store both the tiller and motor already assembled in the carrying bag. So I just take it out the back, install it on my boat, and move it into position for use. I don't know about you, but one thing I hate is when you're on the water, stuff falls out the boat and it's gone for good. And just like that, your most valuable possession is at the bottom of the lake. But don't worry if you do something stupid like drop the battery in the lake, no worries, the battery floats. If there's one thing I've learned over the years is that if it can happen, it will happen. One of my pet peeves is that if something requires a lot of maintenance, it's not for me. I'm a one and done kind of guy and I really appreciate how low maintenance the Spirit 1.0 is. I have a total of three boats right now, so when I'm ready to roll out and fish, I need it to be quick and easy to do. This is one of the huge benefits of using an electric outboard motor. You literally charge and go. No oil changes, winterizations, carburetor and injector work, or any other countless maintenance or repairs that are typically needed with a traditional gas motor. The digital readout on the tiller is something you can set and forget. Once you choose which data points you want, the tiller will remember that setting and will show that information on the screen every time you power on the motor. Again, low maintenance. In all honesty, I do love the Spirit 1.0. It's so quick and easy to install and use. It's been super reliable. I turn the tiller and she's off to the races. All I do is charge and go. I know some folks out there will say, I'll just buy a trolling motor and use that as my outboard motor, even if I buy two. Sure, you can do that. And if that works for you, then it does. But I will caution you that trolling motors are not designed to be a main source of propulsion. And outboard motors are designed to do just that for the long run. That's a lesson I learned myself where I personally ran my Minn Kota Enduramax trolling motor as my main source of propulsion and now it sits in the back of my shed broken with no fix in sight. Now when it comes to the Spirit 1.0 I can think of several pros such as it's easy to set up, super lightweight, no oil or gas needed, and it runs super quiet. Now, when it comes to electric outboard motors, I can definitely think of one con that pretty much applies to most of them out there on the market, and that's cost. These motors can be pretty expensive. As a matter of fact, we've gotten feedback from some of our other videos that it's just too expensive. Some don't have an issue with the price because of the benefits they'll receive. The way I see it, each to their own, always do what's best for you. Me personally, I'm hopeful that as electric outboard motors become more and more popular, competition will benefit the consumer with lower prices in the future. For me, having run this electric outboard motor, I will never go back to burning out another trolling motor trying to achieve the same result. The Spirit 1.0 is still one of the most purchased electric motors out there on the market. And don't worry, I'll leave links to the ePropulsion website for more product info and the TB Nation website for purchasing information. Both links will be in the video description below. Feel free to subscribe to our channel to see more product reviews like this. Leave a like and share this content. We really appreciate you. See you next time.